Hi, it's Allison here. Today I'm going to show you a workflow for creating an ink brush sketch. To start, I'm going to create some layers by pressing the purple button on my non-drawing hand and navigating to the layers menu. The first layer will be for my last, so I'm just going to drag my last into that layer quickly. As you can see, I've brought in quite a few inspiration images to just ideate from, so I'd also like to create a separate layer for those, and we'll drag those into a new layer as well. Lastly, I'd like to create another layer for my inkbrush sketch, so I'll press the plus button again on the layers menu to add one more layer. I'll call this one ink, and there you go. I'm going to lock my other layers so I don't accidentally move them around while I sketch, and I'm going to turn my last to a slight transparency so I can see what I'm doing on both sides of the last while I sketch. To get started, first I'll set my ink color. I'll just go with black, and I'm also going to set my stroke width, which I can do with the joystick by pressing to the right or left on my drawing hand, or by opening the ink brush menu and using the sliding scale. You can slide the scale up or down to create a thicker or thinner stroke. And once I'm happy with the stroke width, I can get started. And for this sketch, I'm going to start in mirror mode. To turn mirror mode on, press the purple button in your non-drawing hand, go to the settings icon, and click the mirror icon that looks like two wavy lines. Now, whatever you draw on one side of the last will mirror and edit symmetrically on the other side of the last. I'm going to start by drawing on the feather edge around my last to start my midsole. It doesn't need to be perfect because I know I can always edit it later, and I just want to get a rough outline going. You can make this rough and think of it sort of as your napkin sketch phase. So I'm just gonna be looking back and forth at my inspiration images and start to ideate and draw. As I draw my top line and put it in edit mode, I notice that there are a lot of points on the line and I would like to reduce them. I can do that very easily by putting my line in edit mode and selecting the reduce points icon on my menu, which will make it easier for me to work with the line and get the shape that I want. Once I have a rough outline of my midsole and upper, I'm going to start baking my mirrors, which in 3D means to break my mirror. So I'll be able to edit each line independently of each other on both sides. So to do that, put your lines you want to bake in edit mode, and again, press the wavy line icon. That will break your mirror. Since shoes aren't symmetrical, I'll wanna hone in and edit the medial side of my shoe to follow the last more closely. Something to note is that I also move each point using Smart Move, so they continue to stay on the same axis and my points aren't moving around in odd directions as I edit. I'll continue to do this process throughout my sketching to assure the medial side is following the last more closely. Now that I have a good outline, as you can see, my inspiration images are very wavy on the outsole, so I wanna go in and start adding some more dimension and detail to create a wavy look to my outsole. So feel free to play around with your form to see what you like and what shapes look best and what feels good for your inspiration. So I know I want to add some sort of thick extruding lugs to my shoe, but I'm just going to mark them roughly on my sketch right now so I can refine them and build them out later, since this is just my rough ink brush sketch or napkin sketch if you will. So after exploring and ideating, I feel really good about my rough sketch. So I hope you enjoyed this workflow tutorial and I'll see you next time.